Hi there. Well, if you've seen any of my build videos where I'm doing covering, you'll know that I really like using this Prolux Digital sealing iron or uh, covering iron. And I've used this for, oh gosh, it must be about six years now. And it's really reliable. The temperature seems spot on and, and just what I need. I, I really do do like it, but it does have a couple of limitations. It's quite a big shoe, that's essentially it really. And I recently saw this smaller trim iron, and as this is by the same company, by Prolux, I thought I would give it a go. I, I'd seen these before occasionally by different uh, companies, different makes, but I thought when I saw this uh, Prolux one, it was £22.50 at sterling, which I thought was pretty reasonable. I thought it's definitely worth having a go and, um, and doing a review. So anyway, let's take a quick closer look and then we'll see it in practice. Okay, well as I said, it's a Prolux trim iron. And you can see the image here, it's got a, a much smaller shoe. Now we can see on the box here they do this iron in different voltages and we're on 240 here in the UK. If you're in the US I believe that's 110. Now if we turn this around we can see it actually comes with a couple of different shoes and there's uh, a control on this which you'll see in a minute which is low, medium, high and it gives different temperatures for the, uh, the different voltages and it shows where the hottest point is which actually is quite quite useful as a, as a guide. So now these Prolux trim irons are made in Taiwan and to be honest I've always been impressed with the products coming out of, uh, out of Taiwan. So what do we get to start with? Um, we've got our iron, we'll have a look at in a minute, and we've got a bag of bits here. Well, this is a stand, a rather horrible, nasty stand. And if you've seen any of my covering videos, you'll know that I like a nice cotton towel on the side where I can just place the iron on, and, and that works fine. So we don't need the stand. The iron itself, has got a, a small foot on it and we can compare that to the uh, the other Prolex Prolux iron that I use it is a lot lot smaller and we can see here there's an additional foot and there we go so just a, a different turn this around just a, a different shape to be using and as I said if we take a, a closer look at the controls We've got a medium, low and high setting. And um, this is, it's kind of a variable potentiometer, variable control, it's not a three click position. So you have got variation within that. And so you can get used to it and set it where you feel is necessary. And there's an LED there to show when it's on and heating up. So let's have a look at this in practice now. Now you can use the iron for doing around an access hatch like this where you've got a really small recess and you need something small like the tip of this iron to get in. But I find that if you're not careful, it's very slippy this Teflon shoe and it's very easy to slip off. And with a pointed shoe like this, you have to be really careful on open structures that you don't end up putting a hole in. But having said that, it is really useful to be able to get right into those corners and make sure it's stuck down. You just, like I say, have to be really careful. If I can, on the bigger pieces, I use uh, my other iron with a bigger shoe. I find it useful where you've got the covering and we've put it on this surface here, but also I've wrapped it underneath and just gone along the underside of there with my shoe, which you couldn't do on a, a bigger iron. So that is really, really useful. I've got a servo hole here, I've got another one there, and I've just cut the film there. And again, it's quite useful for doing these small areas like that. You can just stick the film down. And again, this wouldn't be quite as, as good with a, um, a, a bigger, more conventional iron. So we just push that down. 
And now if I want to, I can also just stick it to the underside using that, uh, using that shoe because it's just so small. And we can see on this side again, I just slip the iron in and just do the underside. And if we're getting the film sticking on the back of the balsa, we should be getting quite a good uh, a hold there. Not that it will particularly come loose with, um, with a, once the servo's in it, but you can see there how we're getting right into the corners. And again, I can use the shoe that way just to stick it on the underside and make sure it's really secure. Right now, I've also got some slots here and I, I've just, just cut that with this, uh, the scalpel. And with a conventional iron, that will be very difficult to stick down. I, I can just about get the tip in and, uh, and just stick it right on the very edge, but it doesn't actually stick it down. We can see, look, if we go along like that, it's not doing a particularly good job, but if I just put the iron down and get my trim iron, if I get this, then you can get that right inside there. And it really does make a huge difference to be able to, to get in and seal that properly. There we go. And that makes quite a nice job there once it's finished and we'll be able to slot that fin in lovely. Well, there you go. And you can see from that bit of footage of it being used that I actually really like this iron. It, it's, it's just gets into those little corners and the, the small slots and even the underside of balsa, like where I was putting that servo in. And I, I just absolutely love this. Like I said, it's a little bit slippy. So if I'm covering a wing, if I'm doing a bit on a wing and I'm worried about slipping, I put my hand at the side sometimes just to, to be careful, just so that if it does slip, I'd rather it hit my fingers than hitting a, a, a part of the wing and putting a hole in with that, uh, that point. But I do really like this iron. And to be honest, if, um, if something happened to it tomorrow, I would go out and get another one because I have found it really, really useful. So anyway, I just thought it'd be worth doing a quick review and showing you my thoughts and how this uh, trim iron works. I've actually covered two models now where I've, I've used this and found it invaluable. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Thanks very much for watching.